In fact, they found that people who've been circumcised have a 60% lower risk of getting HIV or transmitting it to a partner. That's because there's less risk of tearing in the foreskin and less excess foreskin where the virus can get stuck. men aren't signing up in droves for this procedure. And so the um, advocates on the ground who are trying to meet their quotas are starting to fudge the details a little bit. And they're starting to imply to many of these men that circumcision is actually kind of like a vaccine that will make them immune to HIV so that they don't have to wear condoms anymore. And the men go, oh, well, I mean, I guess if I don't have to wear condoms, that would be a reason for me to cut off part of my penis. So I guess I'll do that. But of course, the problem is if you're not wearing condoms, your, your risk of uh, transmission increases. So you have what's called risk compensation. There's a whole bunch of debates about whether this is seen generally in some contexts, not in others and so forth, but you have lots of reports of men believing that they're now immune to HIV, and so they engage in more sexually risky behaviors. 